Hello, welcome back to my channel. This is Dr. Muhammad Hari Sadiq. I'm another surgery for trainee is currently working in UK. We will be discussing about logging your cases on elogbook.org, which is a website where you can log your cases. And if you're a trainee, non-trainee, you belong to UK or from outside, it's worthwhile to maintain a portfolio and log your cases so that some, if someone asks or for your own record and say how many surgical cases of a particular case have you done so it's very easy to locate um, it has a lot of other functions uh, i will explain later on in this video also for the surgical trainees uh, whether you are going for your arcp annual appraisal or you are just keeping a record of your uh, surgical cases this is essential the other part is there is no fee involved in it and uh, it is free to available to any doctor and uh, you just need to put your credentials in and then you can log your cases going through how to make your account how it works and what you need to do while working on the website uh, and live in the while well, i am recording this video so let's get started so first of all as a surgical training keeping a record of your procedure is crucial e-logbook is user friendly and it can be accessed on your mobile phone browser your desktop anywhere i just need an internet connection and it is also tailored to uk training programs wherever it can be used widely in a lot of other training programs because it ha it has all the information which you can put in and will be evidence for later on so we'll start by creating an account if you, if you click on register um so this will ask you you need to click here create an account and then it has a different questions whether you're a medical student you're a surgeon or um, it can also be used by allied healthcare professionals or surgical practitioners surgical care practitioners healthcare professional councils so they can also use this to log their cases and also another point is if you are a medical student and still and you are in uk or ireland you can also use this so in this case we will click on surgeons here you can select countries there are many countries available all over the world for in this example we will select uk so here it will ask you different questions from your uh, registration body registration number speciality your deanery if you're in your training program your training program uh, after selecting this uh, let's select uh, gmc KGB just put any random number, general surgery, then you need to select your, let's say, Edinburgh, training program, then, for example, you are a co-trainee, then it will also ask you what a CCD date, which is basically completion of your training, but you can change this later on as well, it's just making an assumption. So click next here you put your personal information so let's say doctor so Harris Sadiq here you can put your address here postcode country email address uh, your mobile phone number password here it will say your summaries then finish and your account will register i will just cancel it because i already have an account so i will just log in so you just need your uh, username and then you can log in all right so we are on the home page of the of the e logbook dot uh, org here you can have the several options uh, you can add operations you can you can browse your uh, previous um, uh, cases here there are several filters reports messages also you can link link into your isae portfolio 
people who are in our training program in UK can relate to this because IACP is essential for their uh, annual ARCPs and for their training. Here are different uh, information about your details, your preferences, common operations, hospitals, consultants, and there are several options. So we'll go through each of these slowly. Adding cases, click Add Operations. Here you need to select your specialty. For instance, for this instance, uh, we'll select general surgery. Here is the MRN or medical record number or the patient identifier number can be put in. So it can be different as per your hospital. We'll just, for an example, we'll put some random number. All right. Here is the uh, date of operation. So you can select the date of operation, which, which means you can also put in the dates of the information behind the hindsight. Um, if you done operation a few days ago, you forgot to put it, you can still put this information here. The date of birth of the patient. Um, there are four options, whether it was elective, gradual, urgent, emergency. Uh, you can select any of these. ASA grade is the fitness level of the patient. You can get the information from the uh, anesthetic chart, um, from the patient details. Here, the number of consultants you can select. Here, if you uh, click the search bar, you can uh, search the name of the consultant. And uh, if it becomes available, that's good. If not, don't worry. Sometimes uh, some people, your consultant may not have access to um, and this e-log book or maybe they are with a different name. So what you can do is click the plus sign here. If they are on a GMC registration, uh, have a GMC registration, you can just go onto GMC website and search with their name and put these details in here. If they belong to some other country or uh, they have a different set of uh, this identification number, you just put in their registration number, which allows them to be called as a consultant in their uh, home country. You can just put this information and save it here. Next is supervision level. Assisting supervisor trainer scrub. It means uh, you are scrubbed in a case and uh, you are helping and you have some, you have done all or some part of the operation. The second is supervisor trainers unscrubbed, but in theater. It means you're you're doing an uh, operation with an assistant or you're on your own and the, your supervisor is in the theater. Perform means you have done an operation um, um, under remote supervision. Training a trainee is basically you have done uh, tra trained someone to do an operation. Observe is you have only observed, especially when you're in a medical school. If you observed, observed someone, uh, doing an operation, you can put this information as observed. Here is a tip point if you are um, looking for a surgical training program in UK, uh, at least these two these need to be a supervisor trainer scrubbed. Uh, assisting does not count in some of the cases. So um, when you're involved in a case, try to be involved in some part of the operation. So you can click this leave it as unknown whether it was a laparoscopy uh, assisted or converted to open whether it was an emergency operation or you don't have the information what time of day it was um, day evening night any complications during the operation um, so in this instance we'll select for example uh, sepsis um, so and there are a bunch of cases. It depends on your uh, what type of cases. I have to save them my most frequent cases uh, in terms of as favorites. You can change by clicking here. And then you can put the information here like we'll put some laparotomy in this case. Um, there are a bunch of different options you can select. For example, division of adhesions. So you can select this and then uh, you can select the hospital where you have done this case. Let's say Solihull. Here are the operation notes. You can look in patient information and copy this information here. The next uh, um, question is about save and save and next procedure on the same patient for example if you're done a laparotomy and a resection 
you can call this as two, two operations um, because in one operation you may be just involved one part of the operation you may just be involved and second part of the operation you may have done or uh, you assisted them or you have done some part of the operation then it makes sense to make it as two operations so going through different navigation bars so we have gone through add operations the next option is called browse operations so here you can select different type of filters which you want to see the record so let's say for example here you can select the uh, training uh, the filter which you can select i'll tell you how to make up the filters here they from the filters for example you have trying to search for a particular rotation then you may can make a filter and put in the timeline and according uh, it to that so here for example i have done different operations this you can see all the operations here you can here search for any information the next option is browse filters so these are the some of the numbers which are showing as how many operations are done here it shows how many um the first option tells us how many how which type of operation is there then total numbers then whether they are assisted whether they are supervised trainer scrubbed whether they are supervised and unscrubbed performed um trained someone there are a bunch of you can create new filters if you want um format can be normal or extended can be standard or you can select different options from here also you can select these information from here by if you want to make a criteria out of it okay and here he tells you also about number of total operations you have done and we input specialty the next option is reports so here this is quite essential because um, it helps you in your training application whether it is core training or uh, st3 application so in order to validate the number of cases and the operations you have done this is essential so what's happened is basically here you need to select your specialty in this instance general surgery here is the number of operations you have different filters you can select i will leave it like this so here you can select the date of from the date of your uh, years which you need to get the data and you need to download the consolidation sheet so I click this and this makes me a consolidation sheet. All right. So here this shows me that I have made a consolidation sheet. It's showing my name um, and specialty, date of the report and number of procedures because I'm going to select any. So this is important that um, this is the bits you need to get it signed from the consultant you are working with which their name and their gmc number so this validates your report and tells us tells them which operations you have done and it is approved so this is the record of your application uh, for your e-log book common mistakes and how to avoid them so um, it's important that you put in the correct information it can be tiring sometimes sometimes you can forget but if you look into hindsight later on when you come back to this data and if you cannot find the particular information it can be a bit challenging for you always double check your data make sure in information is correct and avoid patient identifiable data which means their name which can relate to a patient patient hospital number you can put in because uh, you can only or based on who is having access to hospital they can only access this is fine you can use it but make sure no names of any person whether operating or whether if you have any operated on should be here because if you sometime export then uh, it can give to a breach of data i wish is uh, not good international medical graduates who have not keeping up to date of e-log book and they are just manually calculating on paperwork it can be tiresome and the data can be lost and it is not verifiable and it is very difficult to locate 
when you look back and try to find your cases. So I would suggest the people who are whether thinking to apply to UK training program or whether they are working in the home country to have a surgical portfolio is essential in so that you can uh, be confident about a particular question that you have done so many times and then you're quite confident on that. And it would also bridge a gap between how the cases you have done in the back home and how different cases you have done here in the UK. And I hope this video helps because I was getting a lot of questions on how to use it and how to present that in our surgical portfolio. I thought of making a video about it and which I, I think it will be very helpful for you. So if you have any further questions or want me to make any other video regarding any aspects of the training program or whether working in the UK, if I'm able to answer, I will uh, try to help. Um, so if you like this video and uh, please like, subscribe and share with your colleagues. This encourages me to make more videos. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.